How's it going, lovely humans of the internet? Welcome back to yet another video. So guys, I've been waiting for this moment for so long. If you've been following the channel, as you may know, I've been upgrading my setup every so often. And after upgrading everything, there was still one more thing that I needed to upgrade. And that was my monitor setup. I've been using this really crappy HP monitor, 23R. And honestly, it hasn't been that bad. I even customized it one time. I spray painted it all black. And I've actually used a couple of monitors in the past that were, you know, a little bit of a higher tier. I had a really good experience using the Samsung CFG70, which was a curved monitor with a really high refresh rate at 144 hertz and one millisecond response time. But I ended up selling it because one, I stopped gaming. And on top of that, the actual visual quality wasn't that great. Today I got two new 4k monitors and I'm going to be setting it up in a vertical and horizontal configuration so let's get right into it. So here is the monitor in the box. I actually got it refurbished. This is the AOC U2790 VQ and here is actually a visual of what it looks like. Um, I did set one up right here just for reference sake. And this is a free tilt dual monitor arm by the brand Halter. It was like one of the super affordable cheap options that I got on Amazon. Now spec breakdown of this monitor is that this is 27 inches uh, diagonally. It has a 4K resolution at 3840 by 2160p, and it is also an IPS panel. With an IPS panel, you're going to be getting some incredible colors, and this thing is actually rated to have 10-bit colors, even though it's actually 8-bit in the actual system, but they advertise it as 10-bit. Trust me, I tested it out, and it honestly looks incredible. Now this monitor is not meant for gaming, so it's going to have a standard 60 hertz refresh rate as well as 5 millisecond response time, which is pretty average. Um, I'm not gaming on it, so it's really going to be okay. First things first, you get a base set mounted stand. This is the OEM version. And then you also have a power cable as well as a high speed HDMI. Now this monitor should be using HDMI 2.0, otherwise a standard HDMI cable will only give you 30 hertz refresh rate. Ooh, look at that. And you also get a piece for the base, which this mount will actually slide onto and lock in place if you want to use it normally. But I'm not going to be using this. Now, the monitor arm itself is actually super heavy, uh, way heavier than both of the monitors combined. So we have assembly instructions and a thank you note. So in the box, we have two of these arms for the monitors and they have the attachment to put the vase amount onto. Then we have two of these vase amount plates in the baggies along with a whole bunch of screws as well as all this mounting equipment. And we have this very brolic looking clamp that will go onto the desk. So yeah, I'm going to just build this all together. I'm going to follow the instructions. Hopefully I don't mess anything up and then we should be good to go. I hope the rain don't come in November. Okay, little update as to what's going on. So I have attached the clamp onto the desk and then I put both of these arms on here. Still have to figure out how to exactly adjust these things because they're like really stiff right now. But what's next is we're gonna be putting these vase mount plates onto the rear of the monitor. You bolt this into the monitor and then the plate itself has these little clips and stuff, which essentially will slide into place with the arm and then you screw it in to tighten it down. That's why you keep on, you keep on trying. But I'm really not moved by your tears no more. Okay guys, so we have finally set up the monitors. As you can see, we have it in the vertical and horizontal config. Now I am actually missing a cable for that monitor. Uh, they supplied two HDMI cables, which are perfect, but my graphics card specifically only has one HDMI port and the rest are display ports. So I'm gonna have to go to the hardware store later to get a display port cable. But yeah, let me just turn this baby on and show you what it looks like. Kind of sucks that this one's not on right now. But yeah, I'm already loving this. This is super sick. Um, you know, I can just open up my trading profile and then I can have, you know, this double monitor setup when I do my trades. Oh, ooh, okay. I'm really happy with the way it turned out. I think it looks absolutely fire. Excuse the mess, but this is what the back looks like. We have uh, the arms kind of just angled pretty you know aggressively so yeah this is a pretty affordable setup as well these 4k monitors i got them for like 220 ish refurbished brand new you can get it for roughly 260 270 uh but right now i think these are out of stock that's why they're going up for like 300 plus and then a mount like this um you don't have to get a super expensive vase amount like this is really sturdy and it was only like 30 bucks so a pretty affordable setup um and i think it came out really really well I don't know 
the next time I'm with you. So if we don't talk, best believe that I still got you. I wanna see you walk. I wanna see you get your dog drink. It's been too long. I smell your fragrance. Yeah, it's been too long. I see your face. Did he ever net? Clips. Pat them, black my shit. This. Put on for the game. Directly. It's what I'm in.